Cavitations, flashing, and choking. Suppose that at first the valve is in open position. In this position, the curve of the valve is approximately a direct line. When the valve is nearly closed and the flow path is restricted by the disc, the speed of the fluid in the fluids of the valve increases. And consequently, on the basis of Bernoulli's law, the fluid pressure decreases. After passing by the throat of the valve, the speed turns back to its normal position, and pressure increases. Surely, the more the valve is taken away from the open position and becomes nearer to the closed position, the difference between the inlet and outlet pressures of the valve increases. If the vapor pressure of the service fluid was shown with a line, the line and curve would rationally have four positions in relation to each other. First position. There is no crossing point between the curve and the line. Consequently, there is no problem and the service fluid remains along the valve. With the continuation of the closing process of the valve, we will reach the second position. In this position, the curves will have sectional crossings. As soon as reduction of pressure reaches vapor pressure, the vapor bubble is formed in passing fluid rapidly. Passing from low pressure zone and achieving a pressure above the vapor pressure, the vapor bubbles will turn back into liquid state and collapse from inside. Both of these are occurred by sudden changes in volume and production of pressure waves, which causes corrosion and erosion of surfaces. The cavitations phenomenon is distinguishable by the proper voices of production and collapse of vapor bubbles. With the continuation of closing process, the voices become clearer and effects will be more severe. With the more continuation of closing process and increase of the total pressure drop of the valve, a condition is provided in which the pressure of the outlet fluid of the valve will reach the vapor pressure. In this condition, in the cross point of the initial contact of the two curves, bubble production will begin. However, in contrast to cavitation's phenomenon, after passing through the low pressure zone, the vaporized part will not turn back into liquid state completely. Indeed, after passing by the throat of the valve, the pressure will not rise up enough for condensation of all of the bubbles. So the condensation of the fluid will not complete. As a result, in the outlet of the valve, a two-phase flow of liquid and gas will establish. This phenomenon, which is called flashing, causes pressure to drop in pipeline. <laughs>